The 13 on your side weather deck is sponsored by Montel Construction. Quality made simple. So George, the temperature is actually going to go up a little bit before it goes down. Uh, yeah, just a little bit this week before it goes down over the weekend. Yes, indeed. In fact, temperatures have been going up all evening, Juliet. Mm -hmm. Right now there is no precipitation out here on the weather deck. Can't rule out that overnight. However, Nonetheless, I think driving conditions will be better to off to the north and east than they were this morning. 13 weather ball is green. No change to our overall weather pattern for seen. Lots of clouds maybe up another degree or two here tomorrow in this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. We've been holding steady and going up a little bit here this evening. We're up to 33 now and it's in the mid 30s along the lake shore and 33 is now within one degree of our forecast high four days in a row within three degrees and only three misses here this month for the rear learning forecast here tomorrow. Again, lots of cloud cover. Temperatures will be reaching the mid and upper 30s. The winds will be a lot lighter than they were during the day today, and we've seen a lack of snowfall. None again today. Seven and a half inches is all we've seen for the season, and that's nearly 30 inches below average. And through January 12th, that is our second lowest snowfall total in all of those top 10 years have had below average snowfall. We need to get a little bit. Uh, weather is very quiet across most of the country. A couple of lingering showers south Florida out in the Pacific Northwest. A lot of rain going on there. In fact, there are a number of flood watches and flood advisories out here because some areas have seen nine and a quarter inches worth of rain and all of these areas uh, are getting a ton of rain here in the Pacific Northwest. So that's really the only part of the country that's seeing anything of any consequence. That's a very strong jet stream coming in off the Pacific delivering that blow there. Meanwhile, that little system zipping off the East Coast. This is our uh, Thursday afternoon and Thursday night uh, weather maker. South winds means rain and then it will eventually transition over to some snow over the weekend. This is not going to be a major snow, but it will continue to snow on and off early next week, perhaps even into the holiday on Monday. Another big strong trough of low pressure is expected to develop off the West Coast. We'll cool off next week, but I'm not sure that this weather pattern is going to hold. We may warm up again toward the end of the month. Here's Thursday night. There's where the rain is coming on through. It may mix with some snow by the time it is finished on Friday morning. Morning, and then eventually there'll be some snow showers developing on Friday night and then they'll wind down a bit on Saturday, but they'll be on and off snow flurries as the colder air starts to move on in by Sunday morning. We'll start to see some light snow to the east, maybe a little bit of lake effect in our area and the light snow may continue on into Monday, but it will all be on the lighter side as it winds down by Tuesday morning. Here's the snow off to the north on Thursday night into Friday morning. This will be rain south and a little bit of snow up north on Thursday night. And then as we get through the rest of the weekend, and we'll slowly see that accumulating snow with maybe some areas getting over two inches and this would be by late in the day on Tuesday. So uh, don't fret. We are still not out of the woods for snow this season. We will see a refreshing of our snowpack later on this weekend, but cloudy skies on your Wednesday temperatures in the upper 30s. That's maybe a few degrees warmer than today. Up north into the mid 30s under cloudy skies and here in the greater Grand Rapids area we will hit the mid and upper 30s with that southwest breeze continuing to bring off that moisture off Lake Michigan. 13 on your side forecast a little warmer than average through at least Saturday and then we will cool off closer to average for Sunday and the holiday on Monday. Next week we will see highs a little bit cooler, but not that far away from the average highs next Wednesday night and Thursday. There also could be another round of some light snow. So again, uh, we have snow in the forecast. You just got to be patient. Okay, thank you, George.